Meanwhile, new at five, an inside look at what police did to catch Victor Bayman. He's accused of shooting three people in Forest Park last Friday. A father of four died, two others got hurt. Police caught Bayman 24 miles away in Cobb County. We go live there now. Channel 2 Cobb County Bureau Chief Michelle Newell spoke exclusively to the Powder Springs Police. So, Michelle, you were the only reporter first out there uh, right after the police uh, caught the suspect. And now you're actually inside the cruiser that police chased him in. George, incredible moments. I'm sitting in the police cruiser that was closest to the suspect. That officer who was behind this will says that suspect at one point was going 100 miles per hour, flew past a school bus into the wrong lane. You can only imagine what he was going through as he had to act fast. He's accused of shooting three people, killing one and carjacking two vehicles in Forest Park. Police say Victor Bayman was armed and dangerous as he let them on this chase 24 miles away. And right about here, he's right at 100 miles an hour. In Cobb County. Everyone present on this video is, is certainly in danger right now. Dramatic video shows an hours-long manhunt come to an end as Powder Springs police catch up to Bayman within minutes. Bayman crashes into a tree, the car he's in now up in flames. Do I run up on a guy who is armed and already killed one to get him out of a burning car? Or do I stay back and stay safe? Officers remove the gun they believe Bayman used before they pull him out. An end to a chase that began after flock cameras flagged the stolen car. They only had minutes in order to prepare for this. With little information, police get into position. And there he goes, about 30 seconds after they set up. So, I mean, it was just that perfect timing. Officers are making quick decisions as Bayman hits 100 miles per hour flies by a school bus and hops into the wrong lane before crashing into a tree. But you see so many additional officers that show up to, to hold traffic and to, to bring out uh, fire extinguishers and to, to have all of these tools ready to, to deploy immediately. Powder Springs police are praising their new crime suppression unit and all the agencies involved for this quick capture. They are being highly effective for what their job task is in the city. That suspect still in the hospital tonight. In the next hour, a look into that new crime suppression unit that helped with this capture. That's in the next hour. We're live from Cobb County. Michelle Newell, Channel 2 Action News. That is an incredible perspective, Michelle. Like you pointed out, just being behind the wheel and making those fast decisions. Thank you. See you at 6.